Hello guys, welcome back to the Year's Animal Planet. Today we are going to be reviewing a book that is called A Day in the Life of Sharks. And it's all about sharks. You guys know that I love um, books and um, they are one of my favourite things to do. So today I am going to be reviewing this book that got sent to us by Neon Squid. Um, it's written by a shark specialist and an ocean biologist, Carly Jackson. It's beautifully illustrated by Shia Prabhat. This book is published by a great pub publisher, Neon Squid, and it's very good. They also make a lot of books about science, space, history, English, about animals, as you can see, and they're very cool. It's probably the coolest predator in the ocean, and we dive up to see, to see the lives of the sharks, like eating, playing, hunting, whatever. It's full of animal sh facts about sharks. It's set over a 24-hour period. So, for example, when we get to this, the, the start of the period, like you can see, 8 a.m. And if I just flip through, 1 p.m. So we can look at the amazing drawings of the new tiger sharks, baby lemon sharks, and gigantic basking sharks. Why it's important to save sharks is because they're part of the ecosystem. They also make it so um, fish don't overpopulate. So this is why we need them, but also why can't we let let them just live their lives and be happy? We're happy in our world. Let other people live as well. They may not be human, but still, they're an animal just like us. And we need to stop killing them because they are not they are not trying to kill you. Valerie Taylor was um, a person who grew up spearfishing um, animals and then she started to really regret that and started saving sharks and she had an area of green ash sharks um, protected or green ash sharks protected. They could find them and she got the green ashes to be protected. Plus, the green nurse doesn't attack you, actually runs away from you, doesn't bite you, doesn't do anything. It's just trying to live. They think you're a predator trying to kill them, not them being a predator trying to kill you. They are the, probably the nicest shark you can meet. And for example, these are the teeth. So this is a green nurse shark and it may look scary and all because it has teeth stuck, sticking out of its mouth but it's not scary it runs away from you it doesn't like try to bite you or anything it it just eats fish those teeth are only for fish they're not for anything else where do we go with green noses? i don't know my favourite bit is at the end, I'll just show you it right now. It's called the Cookie Cutter Shark, which what it does, when it bites into its prey, it kind of makes like a little hole through its body, which is very weird. For, so for example, a baby Cookie Cutter Shark can literally kill a adult dolphin. And it, and you can see right there, it drills a hole with its mouth through the dolphin's chest. 
that's my favourite. Also, um, look at the amazing drawings. So, the reason why we kill them is for shark fin soup and something like that. And for the fins, um, like, it's very weird and people eat it as soup and it's very terrible because why would it taste good? Like, how would it taste good? How can you even eat it? This is why it, it's kind of like the rhino horn situation. The rhino horn is is just really our fingernails. If if it's called a deluxe or anything, why don't we just sell our fingernails? Because they're the same thing. Why can't we do that? Like, why do we chop off their horns? <laughs> so I am gonna. Somebody asked me a question. What should I recommend? Well, I recommend to save sharks. Do you not eat shark fin soup? Even if you see shark fin soup, do not try it out. It's bad for the environment and it's bad for the ecosystem. And it's it also killed a very lovely animal that we shouldn't be killing. Did you know there's a fact that Sharks have killed less people than dogs. Now it may sound very unreal, but it's true. Why do we kill them? They kill less people than dogs. Dogs are like super sweet pets. Well, compare them to a shark. They're more deadly. They can kill you. But sharks like they can't do much to you. <laughs> Um, by the way, this book is still not out in the UK, but it is in America, so if you want to get this book and you live in America, it's already out. In the UK, this book will be coming out on June the 5th, so I I recommend this book, and also I uh, also really wanted to review this book because it shows that Shots are really important. So this is why this book is being created because we need to stop killing sharks or anything in the ocean or anything on land. Really? We should be re reserving these, not killing them. It's made by ocean biologists, shark specialists and super cool people. So go for it. It shows that they could be something more than a deadly killer. So this is why um, sharks are the perfect animal for this. But also, they are not deadly killers. They are friendly, nice animals. And well, that's it for News on the Planet. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye. Don't forget to click that notification bell just in case so you don't miss out on any of these great videos remember to click the like button as well so goodbye